Welcome to The Defiant everyone. We are back with another explainer video and today we'll be talking about product revenue tokens, also known as PRTs. Now PRTs are a new on-chain incentive incubated by the Index Coop. These PRTs are verifiable on-chain ERC20 tokens that represent entitlement to revenue of a related Index Coop product. As an example, Index Coop's new product, known as the High Yield ETH Index, or High ETH, introduced the first iteration of PRTs. Users who participated in the High ETH presale, where they deposited wrapped staked ETH, also received a set number of PRTs that correlates to the amount they contributed to the presale and the duration of their contribution. After the High ETH launch, the PRT holders who have staked their tokens will begin to earn a share of the revenue generated by High ETH. The rewards distribution is linear, meaning if one wallet has 10% of all the PRT staked, that wallet will earn 10% of the revenue generated from that product. Each presale will have its own set of PRTs, with 60 to 70% typically held by the Index Coop DAO, and the remainder divided amongst the presale contributors, LPs, and lenders against the product. PRTs can also be earned by external parties for behaviors that bring additional value into the ecosystem. This incentivization can help scale the product, make it more useful, and generate more revenue for both parties. Now that we understand exactly what product revenue tokens are, let's dive into the methodology behind PRTs. Product revenue tokens are meant to be a solution to the cold start problem that many products face early on. The PRTs can provide extra incentives in the form of revenue to early supporters of a product. This may enable faster growth, higher TVLs, and potentially a higher revenue without unnecessarily depleting the index coop DAO treasury. For token holders, PRTs present a multifaceted approach to investing in protocols where they're not forced to sell their tokens to lock in gains. Index Coop also sees PRTs as a viable form of marketing, and it hopes to distribute them to partners such as centralized exchanges or wallet providers. This method may be particularly appealing to exchanges because it allows them to potentially earn more from the underlying protocol outside of just the swap fees generated on their platform. Index Coop will incorporate PRTs into their future launches and possibly use them as retroactive rewards for their legacy products as well. The team plans to continue developing and experimenting with the mechanism design in order to optimize outcomes based on how the product scales. These incentive tests aim to provide larger incentives to their holders and partners and potentially lead to a growth flywheel effect that can make the underlying product more valuable over time.